check engine light, no tire light, just a clean dash. Finally, bro, finally, Jesus Christ. Yeah. What is good, y'all, and welcome back to yet again, another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm finally back, bro. I know in the past couple of weeks, months, whatever you want to call it, your boy has said I'm back or Vader's back a lot, a lot more than normal. But today it is not cap, I don't think. Um, and we are actually good for real, for real. So if you guys have been in the loop with the videos, tuned into all the vlogs, you guys already know what's been going on with Vader recently. Um, but I am here to say in today's vlog that all of those issues have finally, finally, finally been resolved. So let's go ahead and get a nice little POV drive going. I'm gonna go ahead and roll that new intro and get straight into this, man. so good to be back in this car y'all i can't even lie like and know that there's nothing wrong with it and i have to worry about a light coming back on not have to worry about dropping tire pressures nothing bro like just back to how it was when i first got it off the lot man i feel like the car is finally back um now if you guys have not been in the loop with all the videos like i said earlier and you don't know what's going on or what's been going on um first and foremost for the past couple of months i've been dealing with a check engine light that just continuously came back on no matter what i did um and i finally was able to get that fixed then literally like a week later after i got that fixed my wheel ended up cracking i hit a crater and literally my passenger front wheel ended up cracking and then my driver's front wheel ended up chipping so that being said bro like it's the holidays it's the holiday season i was trying to get the guy who does the wheel repair for the dealership to come out but again since it was the holiday season bro wasn't really working like that so i literally just had to deal with having my car literally lose air every time i parked it and it sat i will come back and my tire will be flat and i would have to put in literally 50 pounds of air just to get from work back to my house and do the same thing every time I wanted to drive the car. So not gonna lie, that was a bit of a headache, but shout out to the homie, man. He was able to come through yesterday, pick the wheel up and go ahead and fix it. And he came through today and dropped it off. Um, so like I said, we're gonna see, you know, after the car sits overnight, if the weld is holding, I went ahead and sprayed down the bead and everything, and I didn't see any leaks, so we're gonna see how it goes. But with that being said though, y'all, we finally got Vader back. As you guys saw from that little cold start, this car is extremely dirty, bro. My car ended up getting hailed on. Yes, that's right, you heard me. I live in Texas and my car got hailed on. This is not cap, it's not BS. Last night, it hailed in my area. And of course, ironically, lucky enough for me, this was the one night that my car did not stay in my personal garage. My car was actually at my job on a jack stand waiting for Buddy who was fixing the wheel to bring the wheel back. So that's why my car is literally covered in filth um, so I am going to be going ahead and doing a full detail this weekend. Um, but yeah, man, I'm just super stoked to finally have the car back in 100% shape and be able to bring you guys the content that you want. I done seen the comments. I done seen the DMs. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I've been slacking and I know it and it hurts. I don't want to slack. I don't want to not upload. I don't want to drop filler videos. But at the end of the day, I don't want to keep giving you guys the same repetitive content. Oh, the wheel's cracked. Okay, bet. Next video. Hey, the wheel's still cracked. 
Okay, bet. Or check engine light. All right, bet. I tried this and the check engine light didn't fix. It didn't fix the check engine light. Okay, bet. Next video. I'm trying this and it didn't fix the check engine light. Okay, bet. Next video. Like you see, it's just hella repetitive. And at the end of the day, I know you guys don't want to see that content. So you're not going to sit here and watch that content. And if you do and watch the whole video through, for sure, 100%, you're a full JI Squad member. And I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. But the mass majority is going to click off of the video within the first two minutes of the video. Once they realize exactly what's going on, they're going to click off. Man, here we go again with this check engine light. Here we go again with this cracked wheel. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I don't like dropping repetitive content. Many unbearable hours later. But yeah, y'all, like I was saying, man, I hate posting repetitive content. So that's literally why I kind of went, took a little bit of a break, slash hiatus, whatever you want to call it, and wasn't uploading. Nothing crazy. As you guys can see, the car is not even warmed up for real. So I didn't want to go too crazy, but you already know, going underneath an underpass, you got to give it a little bit of gas. But yeah, man, so moving forward, man, what should you guys expect for this year and just, you know, for the channel? Honestly, man, you know, I'm still adjusting to becoming a dad and trying to, you know, juggle social media and actually working an actual job as well. So you guys just bear with me. I know the uploading schedule has kind of been trash and I've kind of been off and on about uploading and it's kind of been spotty. For the JI Squad members that got their post notifications turned on already, and you guys know I still upload a YouTube short every single day at least. So even if you don't get a vlog, you still get some form of content. Um, YouTube shorts and Instagram reels and stuff like that are just easier to post on the fly while I'm at work solely because you don't really got to sit there and spend 20 to 30 minutes editing and then 30 to 40 minutes uploading. You know what I'm saying? It literally everything you can do it from your phone and it takes about 30 seconds to upload depending on what you know what I'm saying you're going for. So therefore, man, you know, I'm still uploading some form of content every single day for you guys. Um, but I do apologize and I will do everything that I can to get better as far as my consistency goes with uploading actual vlogs on this channel. Now that everything is, you know, fixed and said and done on Vader, we don't have any more issues. I'm going to go ahead and link up with my homeboy this Sunday, hopefully if the weather allows. And we're gonna use his draggy to get some 60 to 130 times, some zero to 60s, some quarter mile times, all kind of stuff like that um, with the draggy. And I feel like that'll be definitely nice to get um, so that when we do get this new tune put on the car, we can see what the growth was. You know what I'm saying? We can see if it was actually worth it or if I just wasted money. And then I also, another thing that I do wanna do is I do wanna get out there to the eighth mile track houston motorplex um so y'all stay tuned because the drag strip content is coming back to the channel you know what i'm saying we just had to fix these little bugs that we were having but now that everything is squared away we should be good man so y'all drop a big dub in the comment section down below because vader is working now <laughs> but with that being said y'all i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here I'm gonna roll that outro. I appreciate you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, I appreciate the support. For those of you who've been rocking with me, even when it's been a drought, and those of you who tuned into this video itself, man, I appreciate you. But with all that being said, let's go wrap it up for this one. If you're new to the channel, man, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, drop a comment in the comment section down below, give this video a big thumbs up, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. I gotta run in here and get some water for my daughter. Peace.